Good morning. This is C2H2. And first thing we do is come up with the Lewis structure, which is the same as the Vesper structure. So you have H, triple bond, HC, triple bond CH. And because it's linear, each carbon has two sp hybrids. Okay, and we're going to start with the unhybridized uh, orbital diagram per carbon. And we have 2s, just take the electrons in the valence shell, 2s and 2p. There's four electrons in the valence shell. And then first thing we're going to do is promote one of the electrons to the P. And hold on, I'm new at this, so I'm learning how to do it. i got to move the page. <clears throat> okay, so then we are moving it uh, over to S. 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the next thing we want to do is hybridize it. We know that we want sp hybrids, two of them. And then there's going to be two p's left over. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we write the sigma framework based on the sp hybrids. Got to delete that. Okay, the hydrogens have the s orbitals. Each carbon has one, two sp hybrids. Overlap is going to give you the sigma bonds. One sigma bond, two, and three. That's the sigma framework. Then um, we want to write it again. Put in the sp hybrids, and now we want to focus on the unhybridized uh, p orbitals. And you get two for each carbon. Here's one. Here's the other. And the other carbon. And the other. Then you're going to get sideways overlap to form pi and sideways overlap to form pi. So you have one sigma and two pi associated with the triple bond. And then um, I think that's probably it. Alright, hope it helps.